Here's, Here's some science news that I might not understand that's going to blow my freaking mind. Scientists 3D print biohybrid animal with rat heart cells, gold, and rubber. Holy shit. Scientists genetically engineered and 3D printed a biohybrid using rat heart cells, gold, and rubber, opening the door to lifelike robots, artificial intelligence, and cyborgs. The biohybrid could be mistaken for a baby ray. The tiny flexible swimmer is a product of a team of diverse scientists. They build the most... So here it is. There it is. It kind of looks like a stingray. And they 3D printed this freaking thing. So this is amazing. They're, they're 3D printing these like stingray type organisms. But uh, but we can't get a high-speed rail in California. <laughs> we can't do a rail from San Diego to San Francisco, but we can freaking build... We can create living creatures. Holy shit. Look at that. That's a 3D printer did that. It's a biohybrid animal. So, Kit Kevin Parker is the Harvard professor who's researching how to build a human heart, and he saw his daughter entranced by watching stingrays. God, how badass do you have to be to be like, hey, you like stingrays? I might be able to make one of those. What if I made you one? You want a pet sting? I'll, fr- I'll make you one. Doesn't sting. So cool. This guy, he does that. Harvard. People there are wicked smart. You like stingrays? I'm making one. Boom. Man. Kit Kevin Parker. I know absolutely nothing about this person. Like, nothing, nothing about him, except what I'm just reading. But just based on this thing, man, does he sound badass. Watch him be like some horrible human being. (laughs) I know nothing about him. I'm sure he's not. I mean, I don't know why he would be, but yeah. Anyway, the quest for material led to creating an artificial ray with 3D printed rubber body at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences at Harvard. Scientists from the, at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, the University of Michigan, and Stanford University's Medical Center joined the team. They reinforced the soft rubber body with a 3D-printed gold skeleton so thin that it functions like cartilage. So this is a fragile frickin' ray. Geneticists adapted rat heart cells so they could respond to light by, con- by contracting. They were then grown in a carefully arranged pattern on the rubber and around the gold skeleton. The muscular circuitry is one of the interesting parts of the research, and there's more about it in this video. All right. So what does this mean? These scientists have pushed the current limits of robotics and biology, enabling both to move forward with projects like this as a start rather than the end. However, many claim this is an extremely disruptive technology. This could lead to better research to do things like creating an artificial heart, as well as other organs and possibly even brain tissues, which are made of a hybrid of technologies. On the other hand, they can be said to be playing God, raising ethical and philosophical questions about what it means to be alive or a robot or something in between. All right. I don't really feel fear the playing God part because I, you know, I don't really believe in a God, but I do, you know, as, as far as. When you see these robots that are able to, like, open doors and shit, and, and when you hear, like, like when you see the things where it's like they'll they'll start making decisions, then it's then it gets kind of like holy shit, what if they took us over? Um, and uh, I know we've done like some robot stuff, like we've uncovered some quirky articles. Uh, it's certainly not a field I'm an expert in by any means, but uh, but it is pretty fascinating. As is this, and I do know if we could somehow figure out a way to you know create artificial hearts and stuff like that, um, that'd be an amazing medical breakthrough. That could, you know, potentially save some lives. What we really need to do is start planning on how we're going to adapt to climate change. And hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we can pave some ground in that. Which was a weird, uh, weird, uh, weird metaphor to throw out there. Talking about paving shit when we're talking about climate change. But anyway, um, hopefully we can do that. And hopefully that's kind of a, hopefully we're more in the camp of, hey, we just made a fucking stingray, as opposed to the camp of, we can't do a train. Train, can't do it. Build a fucking stingray. So that's, that's what I, I'm going to go, 
you know, if there's like a, if there's next time, there's an opportunity. You know what? When I go back to my town hall for municipal broadband, which is going to be coming up soon, um, I got to bring that up. I got to bring up, look, there's this dude at Harvard. He builds stingrays for his daughter. He just fucking, he 3D prints a living stingray. Hey, here you go. You like stingrays? Check out this one. Don't, it's cartilage. Don't pet it too hard or, or it'll die. But hey, I did that. You mean to tell me we can't have city-owned internet? We can't build an infrastructure for city-owned internet? We can't do that? We can't do what, what cities way smaller than Pasadena have pulled off? This dude. Let's get the Stingray guy. Ask him if we can do it or not. And then he'll bring his daughter. He'll be like, would you like city-owned internet? And she'll be like, yeah. And he'll be like, all right, fuck it. I'm building it here. And I'll be like, thanks, Harvard dude. Yeah. I figured it out. All right. Get your news on with Ron, don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron, don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your news on with Ron. 